Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. I do want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you guys definitely stay tuned as on December the 22nd, 2019 at 7 p.m. California time, we're going to be doing um, free one question live readings on my Instagram. We've been doing that for the past two years and a lot of you guys enjoy that. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys are interested in um, getting into the free giveaways for December, you guys stay tuned as I will be uploading on the next video, letting you guys know how to uh, qualify for that. So anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for cancer. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. We've already shuffled the cards for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Now, your first card in regards to your finances, you have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands could represent um, a celebratory type of energy, almost a feeling of celebration for some of you guys. For others of you, it could represent uh, just feeling very happy and content at the workplace. Uh, for those of you guys that run your own business, you can be feeling or start to feel for the month of December, very blessed, very almost having enough time. I do see a lot of creative outlook for you guys. So those of you guys that are into writing music, uh, writing books, um, anything that is in the creative, uh, sorry, in the creative field, I definitely do see you guys uh, putting more effort towards that. I feel that you guys are going to be very inspired for the month of December. So now is time to tune into that type of energy. Uh, for those of you guys that have been having or have experienced a bit of resistance in the past couple of months, um, we, as it is the Four of Wands and from the Three of Wands, we go into the Four of Wands, obviously. The Three of Wands is still waiting for something to happen and the Four of Wands is finally being able to receive those blessings or finally being able to experience abundance and stability. So very, very good card. Now for some of you guys, I do see either moving uh, for some of you guys, it could be changing residency or actually purchasing your first home. So that's definitely a very positive, positive card, especially to start the beginning of the month with. Now, in regards to communication with the element of air, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is very quick communication. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, the Eight of Wands can also represent very quick movement. For some of you guys, it could be like jumping into a relationship very, very quickly, uh, almost finding uh, that connection or finding that stability you've been looking for, and it comes very rapidly, very quickly for you guys. Uh, so for those of you guys that are single out there, I definitely do see a lot of mingling, a lot of dealing with uh, different suitors, uh, whether you're male or female or same sex, I definitely do see a lot of prospects coming towards you for this month. So if you guys have been single for quite a while, now is the time to put yourself out there as the Eight of Wands can also represent the Arrows of Love. Now for your challenge for this month is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is uh, using your head, being more methodical when it comes to making decisions and not hesitating when you have to let go of certain situations or certain people that perhaps have become very toxic for you cancers. Uh, the King of Swords is a very distant type of personality, but it can also represent having the need to grow a little bit cold or not listening so much to your heart and listening more to what your mind is telling you. Uh, some of you guys may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And as a challenge with the King of Swords, the challenge here is, I feel because cancers do tend to be very emotional. Uh, what they're telling you is that there is a need for you to use to disconnect more from emotion and to connect more with um, that of your ideas, that of what we process in our minds. So pay a lot of attention. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing a momentum uh, of energy flow that is very creative, being pulled towards new ideas, um, even creating uh, different music, creating anything that is in the creative sector, it definitely does talk about um, being very much in your mind and tapping into that. 
Um, so again, if you guys are currently trying to, for those of you guys that are trying to get a home, uh, be very methodical. Uh, when I say methodical, what they're saying is be very practical is what they're saying. Yes, we all want that huge house, etc. cetera, but um, use more of your mind uh, and don't go off of emotion as, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we could get super excited and we kind of, you know, especially if you're seeking out to get, you know, your first home, et cetera, um, you could get wrapped up into the emotion of like owning, becoming an owner of your own home or your own business for some of you guys. And you get so excited and you start to purchase different things that you may need for your business when in fact um, you may not need that until down the road. So those are expenses that are unnecessary. So again, be careful with that. Now, in regards to your emotions, cancer, you have the magician card. So the magician card is that of manifestation. It's that of having all the tools to bring towards you the happiness or the love that you seek. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be uh, dealing or an Aries man or female may be entering your life. Uh, this is also a representation of finding the love within. And when you're able to find that love or to value yourself and take care of yourself, keeping yourself busy or perhaps putting your energy and focus towards achieving goals or aspirations, that of the creative outlook, uh, you may be very quickly surprised that the right person comes along, Cancer. It's almost like here's one of the things that I've experienced. And this is something I tell all my clients. When it comes to relationships, a lot of the time, especially if you've been single for quite a while, you're very concerned and very focused in finding a person that you tend to attract. The people that are not looking for something serious because you're putting out that signal that you're I don't want to say desperate because it's a very negative word. At least I feel it's very negative. Um, but you're putting that energy of, you know, I just want to be loved. And whoever is looking for something that is temporary may give you their attention. And when they give you that attention, you're thinking or expecting that it's going to progress in something more, something more long term. And unfortunately, you attract situations or circumstances that are not ideal. So with the magician, it's like learning to love yourself. It's learning to believe in yourself and knowing your self-worth and not settling for just anyone or not settling for someone that perhaps they're not emotionally available, but you're still wanting to make it work at some point. Um, so you're willing to invest more time and energy. And what they're telling you is, no, 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 Cancer. Stop wasting your precious time, your valuable gem. Anyone would be lucky to have you. And when you put your energy and efforts towards not the absence of what you're wanting, but you put the energy or effort towards things that inspire you and that you're very passionate about, only then will you receive the reciprocation of that energy, which is a person that is going to be willing to love you and that is emotionally available to you. Now, I'm going to be pulling out a card from Moonology Oracle Cards, and this is going to be uh, spirits um, message for you for the month of December and your card here is what do you need to release waning moon so this card could symbolize again um, detaching yourself from people from circumstances or situations that no longer serve you and almost like purging yourself from that negative or toxic type of energy and giving way or giving way towards something that is going to turn more um, a new opportunity that's going to turn into something more long term or more stable or more you know stability coming into your life. But in order for you to do that, you need to release whatever it is that it's holding you back, whether it's people, whether it's uh, friends, relatives that are very negative that in a way, instead of helping you progress, they kind of drag you or bring you down. You need to release that even dealing with people from your past exes that are just, you know, they're unsure and they keep coming back or uh, coming in and out of your life. You need to release that in order to be able to receive the coming new moon. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.